Hello everybody, it's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you, of you who are new. This is going to be your Divine Feminine Tarot for love, of course. And um, yeah, so it will have an extended you all. So really pay attention to the, the storyline because I can't get everybody's um, situation love story at once there's different waves of divine feminine and masculine collective so keep that in mind and also um yeah and if you like this style of reading don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your notification bells that that way it will help me to pick up on better energy and detail of the reading okay okay let's start so first of all speaking i'm getting masculine energy that is um this just popped out when i was pre-shuffling meditating on the energy we got a masculine who possibly ghosted or stopped talking for a lot of you i'm getting they just stopped talking um so first i'm going to get into the mass the feminine energy okay the divine feminine energy and then we'll be getting into the masculine energy, okay? So whatever I pick up, I'm going to say. So there's going to be things that are popping up. This might not resonate with everybody, but I just want you all to know who is supposed to go to the extended reading. That link will be down below in the description box, okay? Because we're going to see how the love story unfolds there, okay? So let's see my feminines. What's going on with you? There is a situation here, you all, that there is some kind of King of Wands energy. This could also be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your person, okay? Of course, they could also be a Virgo. Um, but let's not pay attention so much to the signs here. What I'm getting is like there's someone here that is really passionate about you, okay? You know it. They know it. They know the passion that they have for you. Yet, it's like there's things that are blocking you and this person. It could be other people. It could be, um, okay, it could also be um, responsibilities that they have to other people, other, it could be work, it could be whatever it is, okay? This person, even though this masculine, even though they're not talking to you, they're communicating with you in the higher realms, okay? I do see telepathic communication going on between you and them, okay? The masculine now is not reaching out to you or hasn't been, I should say, because they are in a lot of conflict and also um, they don't want to fight with you, okay? So maybe feminine there was a fight or there was some kind of disagreement for some of you. I'm getting a few things, okay? This is just popping up. Arizona is something that came up. Um, I'm getting a spirally tattoo, okay? Like a spiral, maybe like a tribal sign. You could have that or the person, your masculine could have that. A tribal sign. I'm getting a lightning. Lightning? Lightning or thunder? No, lightning. Okay. Um, I'm also getting um, Chantilly lace, Chantilly or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody here has a, like a charm of an angel with wings. Okay. I'm seeing that. Um, One of you recently or are about to see some type of clouds that are in a form, like in a shape, pay attention to what that um, cloud like was symbolizing. Like, what did it look like? Did it look like a picture? Did it, I mean, did it look like?
like an animal did a, what what was that okay because spirit is trying to communicate with you feminine okay so what i'm seeing here is like this person um this is someone who has charmed you this is someone who is like charismatic but at this time they're being cold okay so some of you are questioning like why are they being so cold towards me okay and it's like they're holding back you know it feminine you're like why is this person holding back this person is going through a lot they're trying to um they're trying to please people why so we're gonna get into that in a second they're trying to please people or impress people now when I say people, you all, it could be anybody. It could be family. I'm picking up on family, friends, community, whoever it is, work, okay? But they're so focused on that for some reason. I just heard romantic issues. So um, I feel like this person has issues with being romantic, okay? They hold themselves back a lot from their cups, even though there are cups here. Okay, so I'm going to get into your energy, my feminines, I mean your person's energy, okay? I feel like it's intermixed, so it doesn't really matter which deck I use, okay? Oh yeah, there, this is a very strong uh, spiritual bond you have with this person. I'm telling you, you both communicate telepathically. So they know when you're you're pissed off at them, okay, feminine? When you're like, oh my God, like, why can't you just do this? Why can't you just call me? Why can't, why are you being, a, you know, a punk or whatever it is? This person picks up on that, okay? So they pick up on it. So even if you didn't tell them you're mad at them, they know, okay? <laughs> so let's see. There's something this masculine wants to tell you. I feel like they are trying to, at this time, um, they're going through some type of awakening. Okay? They're going through some type of awakening. And I feel like they are freeing themselves. Okay? This is a really good card. This is like the devil card in traditional tarot. Okay, and this person I feel is trying to be more like you, feminine. So if this person in the past, if they're not spiritual like you, like the energy I'm picking up on is this person was not as spiritual as you, but you've taught them a lot, you've made them see things from a higher perspective, and now as they are, you know, alone in isolation i feel that they are definitely um like they are remembering all the things you told them okay so they're remembering like oh i remember my feminine when she said this or whatever he doesn't matter guys okay um gender does not matter okay so even if i say that it doesn't matter which one it is so this is someone, a masculine here, that is trying to free themselves of their responsibilities. Now, I don't know what they're responsible about, but I do see them, like, daily feeling like they are, um, what is this? Like, I'm gonna get, pick up an oracle first, because I'm getting a masculine here, you all, that is like, has this like karmic bond with a family so it's like i don't know if it's their extended family i don't know if it's their like literally their parents or it could be a parent or sibling it could also be um like an ex family okay why is this here why are they trying to free themselves off of spirit
Look at this. So guys, this masculine is, there is a karmic bond, a karmic tie. It's a cycle that needs to close out. This person needs to free themselves of that. They feel bound to it. They've felt bound to it. I don't know how long you've known this person, but for some of you, it's been a really long time. So that's why I feel family is coming into play here, okay? They could feel tied down to some type of family unit, okay? Whatever that is. And some of you, you feel... Okay, so this is another thing that this might be your reading. It's like you feel like the masculine is living a double life. Okay, they're living a double life because you could be a secret feminine or it could also be that you, how should I say this? Like you are distinctively separated from their family unit. Okay, so it's like, they got their family life, whatever that is, okay, however that family pertains to your situation, and then, then it's you. It's like you're cornered, okay? So this person is finding it so hard to come out of that because they feel like the masculine energy here feels like they are that's their responsibility, like their, their obligation. And that's their, um, how should I say it? Even though they took honor in that, there was a time when it was like, I take honor with this responsibility. They don't feel like that anymore for some reason. I think this person is really tired. This masculine energy is really tired. And they notice now that it's keeping, I'm seeing a dragonfly too, it's keeping them from their feminine, okay? And I feel that this person, it's like they want to clear the air. Some of you are not getting, the, in, even in the past, when you talk to this masculine, you were not getting the full, um, the storyline of the, of the masculine's, like, specific details of this family unit you think you know it all but you don't they've been hiding it from you um they don't want to look less of a man is what i'm hearing here they don't want to look like they can't control things or they're not in control so i feel that oh and some of them are embarrassed because of something like they're embarrassed because of the way their family is or something like they're embarrassed about something okay so the masculine in this reading is it's like you they think you might really judge them if they tell you everything like specifics of their situation okay so i'm gonna go into how the masculine feels about you yeah, so they're 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 tired of living the double life. Okay, so if they put you in a, you know, like you are one part of their life in the corner, and then you know they got their own life going on, then this is for you. Okay, how do they feel about you? There's something from the past that this masculine can't get over, okay? There's something from their past. It could be something from their childhood, you all, okay? Yeah. There is something, okay, so this, whatever bond this is that they can't get out of, the family bond, the family unit, whatever, they think it's unfair, and they know that that's the reason why you both are not together. That's the reason 
why they keep going in and out of this connection. So if you have a masculine that is like when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, they just disappear, they stop talking, this is that, okay? And they don't want to talk about it, okay? They just don't. So feminine, if you encourage the masculine to talk, they didn't want to talk about it, okay? They do really feel for you. I, I, you know what I see? Like, I see a masculine, like, wanting to just, they're frustrated, they're stressed out, they can't sleep. They want to come, they want to just come to you, but they know they can't, okay? They want to just hop in their car, okay? Nobody drives a chariot right now, but they just want to hop in their car and just come to see you. Like, they wish that things were like that, that they could do that, but they know they can't. Okay. And what I'm seeing here is like, they know it's not fair for you. They know that this is, um, they know it's not fair for you also that they're not telling you the whole truth. Okay. About this family, like what's going on with them and the family. But I do see them. It's like the call of duty. That's what I'm hearing. The call of duty. Okay. Your person might be like a um, like a general kind of person, right? They're like, um, what is it called? Like they might have that stature of like an army general, marines or military, whatever, okay? And the way they look at their family, like this is my responsibility, this is my duty, regardless. Like their heart's not in it, okay? Their heart is not in it. They don't want to do what they're doing, right? But they feel like it's obligated. Like it's like, I'm tied down. I'm chained down, okay? And they, I just heard that there's also some sort of guiltiness Okay, so they feel guilty if they leave that, if they leave that situation, they feel guilty, okay? It could be that people will make them feel guilty. Hold on, guys, I'm just going to get some cheers. This is um, some jasmine green tea, okay? This is not a sponsorship, but... Okay, so... They feel that somebody might make them feel guilty, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, feminine, I want to get into your energy here some more. If you hear creaking, that is my chair. Okay. You're here, feminine. You're just like, you know what? There's no solid offer regardless, okay? I love this person. I care about them. They truly are like, I feel so different with this person. They are my soulmate, but there's no offer. So why would I invest in something when there's no offer? I'm just wasting my time. I'm wasting the love that I can share with someone else, okay? You're going through all these feelings of that. Um, you are the high priestess here, okay? You are the high priestess because really, okay, this is what I want to say. You, the way you look at something feminine, you're thinking to yourself, listen, we can heal this, but you're not letting me in, right? Like you're not letting me in. You're not letting me be a part of that life that you've pushed away all this time, okay? And you're thinking, you know, we can overcome this, we can heal this, okay? We've got the power to do so because your masculine feels powerless. They do because they feel like they are, um, what's the word I want to use? They feel bound to their situation, okay? So... Uh, 
and they might have been making um, excuses to you and telling you like this is why I can't commit well sorry guys opening everything up here um, this is why I can't commit right so you feel like they're making up an excuse feminine okay And you might have been feeling like they keep coming in and out of your connection, okay? Something happened in the last eclipse. I think the last eclipse was June, if I'm not mistaken. Um, something happened around that time, June, or was it? Oh, there was one in May, too. May or June. Something happened, and it kind of made this person and you second guess um, if you could really make it work or not. If Can we heal this? Can we get through this? Can we come together in a happy medium? Can we reconcile, okay, and have everything healed? Okay, so at this point, I feel like some of you don't know what to do about this. You don't know what to think. You might be thinking like, okay, right, the love is here. King of Cups. Um, how much more love can I put into the situation? It's like, yes, I know you love me. I feel it. But the way you act in the real 3D world is that I'm a secret, maybe. I am just one you corner me. Um, you're living a double life. Your family means more to you than anything else. Your focus is not on me, feminine, okay? And you're hurt. You're hurt. This person keeps breaking your heart over and over again. They don't see the way the things that you see. Okay. Um, and you're sick of thinking about it. You don't want to think about it. And some of you have blocked this person's energy is what I'm getting. So if they're just com communicating you with you telepathically, you feel their energy feminine. Um, you're like, I don't want to think about you anymore. I'm done thinking about you, okay? And this is you walking away. You're thinking about it. And some of you, what I picked up on is like, you have other people around you. You have other suitors, okay? Or people you can be with. And you're like, what am I doing here? What are we doing? Like, what the heck are we doing here? What are we to each other, okay? Am I your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your lover, friend, associate? Like, I don't know, some of you might work with this person. Or you've worked with them. You know what I'm getting with this? Some of you have tried to move on. Like... Even though you get attention feminine from other people, you're just thinking to yourself like, hey, is it going to be like this one? You know, you keep thinking to the past, well, am I going to feel what I felt with this one, with this masculine? Because there is, I see other people like maybe you're getting picked up on. Um, I see other people, for some of you, like they want to gift you something, you know? That's really hard because when you get attention from someone that's not your masculine, it really hurts deeper because you're thinking to yourself, like, why couldn't my masculine be like that? Why is my masculine, um, like, not treating me this way? And yet people I barely know are giving me all this love, this romance. Like, they feel, I feel closer. I'm... 
like they these people are just giving me like affection attention like whatever it is or maybe even gifts okay like i know like that really hurts i've been there okay so it's like honey like i have all this love for you and you're not meeting me with the love i'm giving you in the 3d world of course right in the real world i'm talking i'm not talking about the love you feel for them in higher realms dimensions guys but it's like there's this lack feel you get that lack feeling even more when someone else gives you attention or picks up on you feminine it's that that kind of energy okay so now at this point you're questioning everything you're thinking you know what am I, is this is this worth holding on to when maybe your masculine has told you like hey i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready for this i'm not ready for a commitment i'm not ready for a commitment i'm not ready for marriage or i don't want to whatever it is that they told you okay let's see what else what else messages we can pick up for the masculine okay this masculine <clears throat> is too busy okay but whatever they're busy with is their choice it is their choice feminine okay And they haven't been willing to change. They feel stuck in this karmic wheel. And it's like, in your connection, they're pulling you down with that karmic wheel. Okay? They do have karma. Yeah, that's why the offer. Look at this. This offer is like, it's like floating around in the, in the other dimensions. Look at the angel behind this. It's like, I don't know how to say it. It's floating around in the universe. But it's not landing onto the earthly plane. It's like karmically, you're supposed to be together. You're supposed to have a commitment. Yet, this person is stuck in the karmic wheel. And the, the way they keep you stuck feminine is that they keep going back to this family unit they keep spending their time with this family they put it's like they put all their energy into the family and not into this connection right um i'm gonna see how the feminine i mean masculine feels for you how do they really feel What's their heart space? I can't make this up. Look at this. It's like, yes, I see you in my future. I hope you're going to be in my future. It's like, but I'm, I try my best to hold back from you. Not to give from you. Not to give you, okay? So this is what the energy has been, you all, with the masculine energy. And because they feel so tied down with the bond, with that karmic bond tie, whatever, that those chains with that family unit. Um, now, some of you might say, you know, my masculine doesn't have a family or they're not whatever but i'm getting the energy of it so it could be like they are still the way they were raised they're still living like that okay so it could be like they don't even live with the family or the family's far but if there's still other energy that is like i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna say like 95 percent of the time that's masculine is dealing with that energy okay so 
That's why they're so cold. I'm getting a very stoic energy. They're cold towards you. They're using their logic. They're not in their heart space. Their, their heart space is closed off, okay, at this time. Even though they want this with you. They want this with you. You might be seeing 1111. Um, they want to be the responsible person. They want to be responsible, but I feel like this, they can't because they're tied down. They want this happy medium between you and them. We got the king of swords, I mean, king of um, wands again. It's like, how can they split the time and energy they give between you and their family? And that's why I feel like they put their emotions on a lockdown here, okay? I'm going to see. I'm going to pull a spirit oracle, okay? And then let's see what spirit has to say about this, okay? What do we need to know about the masculine? I'm pulling a spirit oracle here, okay? What do we need to know about the masculine? Whoa, okay. All right. Balance. So the fa the masculine is in moon energy. This person is in their feelings, okay? Um, there's a lot that is not clear to them. And I feel that they need this time to be away, okay? Some of you might be like, well, they took a lot of time away from me, Caroline, but... I'm getting like this time around, I feel like there's going to be some type of movement, okay? Um, they lost the joy in their life. They lost the joy. This masculine is depressed. I'm picking up on a masculine that's depressed. They're down and out is what I just heard, okay? What else do we need to know about this connection spirit? Responsibility. Do what feels right above you, right for you above all else. It is impossible to please all parties. What was I saying? This masculine is pleasing the wrong people. Like, how long can this masculine keep going on pleasing people, right? Um, we'll get into the extent of, in a bit, but um. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. So maybe this masculine and their family is even like trying to make sure other people are responsible. Like they're the head honcho of the family. Like they're the family head. What do you call it? Head of household or whatever. Um, or they're the breadwinner. And they're like, nobody else is taking responsibility for this family, except for me. Okay. So this one fell out too. Angel over me. Protection card, angel wings surround you, trust, replace fear with love. You are eternally held safe within the arms of an angel. I want to see why this came up. Why is this up? Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to use another card. Oh, I'm going to start. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. Okay, guys, you the, the masculine in this in this spread, okay, in this love story is they gotta move on out of that situation, okay? 
I feel like they know they do, but it's hard for them to release the situation, okay? Um, and I feel right now that they are being protected and so are you, okay? Because some ish is going to go down. I feel that energy because this is, a, it, it's been such a long karmic cycle with that family unit that they are trying to close off. Okay. Like they know they need to end it. They know that like, this is keeping me from loving my feminine, my divine feminine. Like I got all this love and it's like going to shame basically because I'm stuck with this freaking family. I need to get out. This is the five of wands in this deck, you all. So this is about the masculine closing out the cycle. I'm picking up what's left of them is what I just heard. So I don't know if this masculine lost a lot from this cycle that they have with the family unit, but I feel like they're, they need to um, gather their strength, their, um, their resources because they might have lost things due to that family unit okay so I heard picking up the pieces they have to do that even after they release that okay they want to I don't know if they're gonna do it okay okay guys so I will extend this and whoever resonates with the storyline can follow me down below. I made it affordable for everyone, you all. I know we're all going through different things with gas prices and it's crazy, especially in the U.S., okay? I also picked up U.K. So I don't know if you're in the U.K. watching. Um, I just heard British, okay? You might be British or the person that you dealt with. Um, yeah, so you can follow me down the extended, you all. I hope that this resonates with you and it's brought you some clarity and some help. You're helped with this. Um, let me know in the comments how you do resonate with this. And I wish you all the best, Divine Feminine. Peace out.